tales of ghosts, hauntings, and paranormal activity at Whittier College. One October night, two reporters decided to find the truth in these stories. Their tale begins with campus safety and Warden and Jim. This, this table was like an, uh, a long, it wasn't like this, but it was facing the other way. And on one end of the table, there were five full one gallon paint cans down on the table, and they're all huddled all together. And as I'm walking by the table, they all slid all together across the table as, I, as I'm walking by. It's, like, it's, it's almost like it, like it was following me. Um, my other experience here, there was, there was no one in the, in the building one night, and um, I heard like choking sounds, and then it's, it, it was on for maybe like a minute, and then it stopped. And I, I, I me and a double here, we, we kind of met us around, and we, uh, when, when, when we're in here, I kind of say that, like, the ghost or whatever, you know, do something, you know, it's just, just to mess around and scare him sometimes. Mm -hmm. But, uh, so I said, do it again. And it did it again. It choked for longer mm -hmm. than, the, than the first time. And I'm like, okay, I got to get out of here. So mm -hmm. then I left. Gymnasium? that after one of the games, somebody, uh, well, one of the, I don't know if it was one of our students or one of the opposing teams, they came down here, and this used to be the, uh, the locker room area, and I guess before they had pipes, water pipes, I'll bring it up. here, this used to be the, the locker room, you can tell by the, uh, yeah. the shower tile, I guess down the, this, there used to be pipes in there, uh, with water sprinklers, but there was pipes overhead, and they said that somebody, I think it was here, or down in the basement, mm -hmm. is where somebody hung themselves. And that's what we heard, we don't know, you know, for 100%. Mm -hmm. so, it was uh, two female students, they were outside in the upper quad, and they were taking pictures for, uh, I don't know if it was for an art project or something, and they were looking at the camera, and um, they saw somebody up up on the on the loft area, mm -hmm. out of they didn't just it, it was a guy, and then they would go down, and no one was there, and they look again, and he was there, and she's like, wait a minute, I'm seeing somebody up there. Is is there? Did she tell her friend? Is, is there anyone up there? She goes, no, no, no. Okay, she's like, okay, so I'm not seeing things. So she hands her the camera, and say, look at the camera and see, and, and look at the mm -hmm. look at the window, and then she looks, and there's a guy again. <gasps> so she's like, oh my god, and then they ran. Because they, you know, they got freaked out, but, you know. I've had two incidents. Well, like I said, one in Deal, it felt like I was walking up the steps and somebody grabbed the back of my belt here and tried to pull me down. And then I was in um, the old mail room, which, what's it called? Uh, um, oh, um, Guilford? Guilford, yeah. Guilford yeah. The old mail room. I'm in there setting the alarm, and there's, the building's completely empty and nobody mm -hmm. occupies it. So I have my flashlight out, and I'm doing the alarm like this, and I hear from a distance, you. I look like this, I turn my flashlight on, I look up the stairs, I'm like, dude, there's nobody in here. There's, there's only probably a, maybe a cat or something, like cats can't say nothing. So I continue doing my alarm, and then it seems like it got real cold, and then I can hear it right behind me. I looked around, I don't see nothing, so I split. You know, I'm not going to turn around, I, I didn't see anything, it just freaked me out. But uh, that's the only major, major experience that I had, you know, other than that guy tugging on my belt.